with the amazing Tony Copet. Okay, please <laughs> <laughs> understand. I have been chasing this man's career since 2011. Ooh. He's been in the field 30 years. Yes. And he is amazing. I mean, the, the gift that this man has, I had to speak it into existence for this opportunity to even happen. That's right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so we got him, y'all. We got him. We got him. Didn't know, you know, it was going to end up like this. I'm going to give him a script and we're going to see what's happening. But anyway, <laughs> we love it and we appreciate him. Mr. Tony Grant, if there's anything you would like to say to the masses. Well, uh, yes, first of all, I'd say hello. And, um, and I appreciate this opportunity. Uh, thank you, Ms. Maya, this young lady right here, for blessing me in my life today and giving me this opportunity to share what I have or the experiences I've experienced. Um, she's correct when she says it's a gift. It's totally a gift. I take no credit for anything that I have or anything I've done. Nothing. It's all mm -hmm. been God given, all been God driven, and all been God revelation. Um, mm -hmm. But there's so much more to come. Uh, that I know. I know for sure there's so much more to come. I don't know what areas it will be in completely, but there's some things on the horizon that could possibly continue to uh, move people and, and be a part of their, their lives. And I appreciate everybody for letting me be a part of their lives through, you know, the entities of the Tyler Perry's and the Angela Barrow Dunlap's and the Marvin Webster's and different ones that have really induced my career. So I'm just grateful and I'm grateful to I'm grateful to the people that watch it more than anybody. Um, I'm grateful to the people that support. Without you, I'm nothing. So thank you to, I don't want to call you fans. I'm going to call you family. Thank you to family um, for just blessing my life. It's been a joyous ride. It's been wonderful. It's been the ups and downs, but it's been more ups than downs. And uh, I'll encourage you and everybody else out there that if this is what you want to do, if you want to be in the entertainment world, first of all, seek God and ask him, is this where he wants you to be first? Um, and if you're where he wants you to be first, then he'll add all that other stuff to you. So I'm a witness to that. I ain't super spiritual. I ain't super holy. I ain't that dude. I'm just a gifted black man that knows where my gifting and my blessings come from. And uh, without God, I'm nobody. I don't have any voice. I don't have any sound. I don't have anything. So I'm just grateful um, for all that I've been able to do and be a part of. I enjoy talking to people more than I enjoy acting. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy talking to people more than I do singing. So, <laughs> so this, is, this has been my blessing, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, we appreciate you, sir. You know what? Your, your, your experience is so vast. You've, you know, with you just, you can play a bad guy. Yes. You can play the good guy. You can play the sweet guy, the shy guy. It's just like your, your, your gift is so vast. You know, just your singing. Oh my goodness, I used to love your singing. Like especially when I was, you'd be on stage, and I mean, I'd be like in a trance, sir, in a complete trance, looking at you on stage, and I'm like, no way, that's not happening. But it right. is, and I mean, I I got a chance and an opportunity to meet you after one of your uh, after one of your plays, and it was amazing. Um, Thank you. And I just was like, that I'm gonna talk to that guy one of these days. One of these days, he's gonna know me. He's gonna, he's gonna read my script, and it's gonna be curtains. And I've been saying this forever. So well, here, 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 <laughs> here is the opportunity, people. It it can happen. Yeah. You just have to really put it out there in the atmosphere. Trust God with 
both hands, eyes, feet, your whole self. Yeah. Um, you don't put him in your heart for nothing. You, he's right. not a ride along. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So, okay. So outside of producing and directing, and now you're writing. What yes. are we writing, sir? Well, I'm working on a few things. I'm working on one, two, three. I'm working on three films and two plays. Um, I have this home business that I just started. Um, it's called a DNA supplement. It's, it's kind of in the vitamin world to help our people become healthy. Yeah. Um, I mean, because we're the, we're, the, we're the race that we look great on outside but we don't take the best, best care of the inside. So we catch all the diseases and heart attacks and all that. And we, I'm trying to find a way to, I think I found a way to offset that. We just have to buy into it as people. But then I'm also becoming a, I love this, I'm becoming a publisher uh, for books. Yeah, yeah, I just joined this company with y'all, partnered up with this young lady out of Florida who has a, uh, has officially become a publisher for books and we've partnered up on it. And my buddy who used to, uh, God rest his soul, Tommy Ford from the Martin Lawrence show, it used to be his partner. And now she's reached out to me. He introduced me to her when he was alive and she's reached out to me and we're partnering up in some ways. I'm doing some things locally at my church here to try to help my church grow. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just busy. What's the name, sir? What's the name of the church? Church of Christ, Reseda Church of Christ. It's called okay. Reseda, R-E-S-E-D-A, Church of Christ. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm trying to do some things there and helping them out. Um, possibly, my wife and I possibly have a, a TV show in the works. A lot of, lot of good stuff. I got, ooh, I, start, I forgot about that. <laughs> I got about one, two, three, four. Four movies sitting in the can. I got like four movies sitting in the can waiting to come out. One of, them's going, one of them is going to change my life. Yeah, it's going to change my whole life. I'm going to have to make some adjustments. <laughs> but I, I, I got some things sitting. There are things sitting. I'm just waiting on God to manifest it and make it happen. You know, so... I've been thinking, I'm going to be honest with you, you know what I want to do? I'm going to tell you what y'all want to do. I want to start my own radio show. I do. I want to be on it. Oh, of course. I want to be on it. I want to do what you're doing. <laughs> I want to interview people. I want to do all of that. I think I want to do that. I think I want to start my own radio show at some point. I want to do that. Yeah. I think that's going to be my retirement job. Talk to good people. Good. Love people. Love people. Yes. So. And talking and having conversations and just yes. being empowering you know, to other people, and sometimes, you know, you, I, I know your voice alone, just even, not just acting, just me having a conversation with you, your voice alone is just so soothing, and it's very comforting, and, you know, it definitely helps with, you know, the state that we're in, you yes. know, a lot of people are, are just kind of like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I just not released a, and I just released a, uh, a music video, for my, I've, I've never done a gospel album, so I wanted to do a gospel album. So I just released my first single. It's on Facebook, and I released the uh, the video to it. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'll send it to you if you yeah, have. I did. I, yeah, I did. You sent it to me. Mm -hmm. It's doing well. I'm shocked. I mean, it shocked me how well it's really doing. I was like, whoa, and people are like really, really wanting to buy it. So I didn't want to put it up. To, for people to buy, not with the state that things are. I mean, it, taking money from people just bothers me right now. Yeah, it's not right. It's not right to me. But they're like, oh, I want the record. I want the record. I'm like, just download it. Go to YouTube and listen to it. Just, you know, don't buy it. I'll put but, the link that below, okay? Yeah. yeah, go to the link and just go watch it and just listen to the song. Let it bless you and encourage you. So, but I, that's about, I, I think that's enough. I'm being a family man and being a dad and husband and uh being a friend and all those amazing things i will say this you know um i've dealt with a lot of um death these past several months a lot of friends uh, a lot of people i've known 
and it's so funny because I was praying to God the other day and I was like, God, okay, hold up. I've been in this business 30 years and I've met so many people. So I've become close and friends with people and, and here they are leaving this earth before me. And, uh, and for a second, I was like, God, is that, are you punishing me? You know, <laughs> are you punishing me? But then, you know, I, I, had to, I had to change it around and get my thoughts together. And it just puts me in hurry up mode now to, to really encourage people, to really lead them towards God. And I think so many people have a misconception of what dealing with God entails. They think they got to give up so much. They think they can't go to the movies. They can't do this. They can't do that. No, it's, it, it, you're judged by your heart. You're judged by what you do from your heart. And, you know, we know right from wrong. I mean, come on. You know, we know. But it, it's based upon our motives and how we treat one another. And I got this song. I got this other song I'm going to put out. It's a universal song. It's really nice. It's kind of make you think of Marvin Gaye. Everybody that's heard it is like, oh, my God, this is Marvin Gaye record. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm thinking about releasing that real soon just to give people something else to, to move with in their space because everybody's at home and they're struggling and they're, a lot of people are depressed yeah. because a lot of people are leaving here and a lot of people are scared because they don't know what's coming, you know. Or when it's going away. Right, and I'm okay. I'm okay with all of that because I think I've been on enough buses and airplanes to not know if it's going to land. <laughs> and, uh, and not, no. so, so I'm okay I'm okay I ain't worried about none of this I've, I've flown around so much and I've been in turbulence and not knowing if we're we going to make it so this is nothing yeah. this is nothing it, it, well, it, it kind of compare to me it's, it's parallel it compare, I'm, I compare both of them to that not know, the not knowing forces you to have faith in something yeah so, that's I, I, look, I, I looked at it I'm sorry um, I looked at this as an opportunity because a lot of people are on that go, 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 go mode. When do we take the breath? When do we get to gather our thoughts? When do, you know, when do we get to the point where it's like, okay, I need to hone in on some inner space, you yeah. know, because a lot of times we're, tr God has given us his voice and yet we don't have the space to, to really hear it. That's right. If you can't hear it now. Oh, you're not going to hear it 10 years from now. And look, and you know what? This is how I look at this. I look at this whole thing that God cares about us so much that the good ones, he's taking them all home. We're not bad. He's just given us an opportunity to get stronger because 10 years from now is going to be worse. And if we're living, we got to be have enough strength to deal with it. You know why? Because we got to be able to tell our children how to deal with it, how we dealt with this. And if we can tell them how we dealt with this, then whatever they got to go through, it'll help them deal with it even more. So that's how I look at it. My son came by last night and had dinner with me. Bless my life. Man, bless me just to sit down and have dinner with him and we laughing and talking about basketball and everything else. But when he left, I thought about him and I was like, wow, God, you're answering my prayers because you're protecting him out in the midst of this. But the good part is he's seeing it. He's experiencing it and he's watching me. I'm just all cool and calm. He was like, man, you ain't, you ain't got no mask on. I was like, I'm covered. I'm already covered, brother. I'm covered. I'm covered. I don't need no mask. I'm covered. I'm good. He was like, wow, dad. I was like, yeah, I got to lead by example. So mm. now I'm going to follow the rules of the land. Of course, when I go out around people, I put the mask on because I don't want people to get, people get scared. They don't see you with that. Woo. I can only imagine. They get scared. <laughs> you see it in the eyes. I'm like, oh, he ain't got no mask on. Oh, God. So, but no, you know, my life has been great and I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about the things to come. I'm ready. Yeah. Ready to make it happen. Um, you're on point every time. I, I don't know what to do with myself most days. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do things like this and, and then, you know, God always opens the door and I'm like, I, I'm taken back because when he just goes like, oh yeah, here you go. 
And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Um, that prayer was from like almost 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Right. Okay, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. Right. Right. And I'm I'm taken back, and I and I love your conversation. Your conversation is like you're so settled and so serene and just so wise, you know. And you know, I don't want to say that because you're not like, super old, but I mean, <laughs> I, my grandmother's been telling me that since I was a kid. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, uh, I, I know God blessed me with a lot of wisdom. Although I, one thing about me is this: I'm He's given me a lot of wisdom, but I'm hard headed. I'm hard. I have to experience it for myself. I have to, you know. My mother, when I was young, my mother was like, "Don't touch that fire." I go right over there and touch it. I had to see for myself. I'm that hard headed dude. I'm that dude. <laughs> I know most most men or i don't know i'll say kids alike you know it's just like you just got to go through the storm you know yeah but i'm that dude in everything like you you could tell me all day there's no you you've never had experience in acting you can't act okay let's see and i'll go do it i have to see for myself that's how i've been able to be successful you can't direct Okay, let's see. You can't produce. Okay, let's see. see. And I end up doing it, and they're like, how the heck? You never studied? I was in front of this guy. I'll never, ever forget this. I don't know. You've heard of Dave Albert. He's another playwright. Mm -hmm. Yes, amazing talent. I was in a play with him, and I was in his play with Clifton Powell, and Cheryl Pepsi Riley and uh, uh, who else is it? Shamar Moore was in it. Um, and we were at rehearsal one day. And he got me up in front of everybody. Everybody. I mean, the whole cast, crew, everybody. It was like, Tony, I want you to do this scene. So I did the scene. And this is probably in 2000. Let's see, that's not where I'm going to do this. is probably like 99, 2000. So I did the scene and everybody clapped and everybody was like, oh my God, this was good. Man, that was good, Tony, that was really good. It was really good, and Dave Thomas said, he said, so Tony, that was really, really good, brother. He said, let me ask you a question. He said, now, won't you be honest with me? Just be honest. I was like, hey, good. I'm still standing up there in front of everybody. He said, let me ask you a question. He said, you did good, but you ain't got a clue what you're doing up there, do you? <laughs> And I looked at everybody, at everybody around the room and I said, no, I don't. He said, I appreciate you being honest. He said, the good thing about you, you follow your instincts. I said, that's all I know. God gave me those instincts. I can't lose with them. I will always win with them. That's why I've been able to be successful the way that I have. Instincts. Your instincts will tell you when to move, when not to move. Your instincts will tell you how to deliver your lines, mm -hmm. how to come and approach this a different way than the norm. The norm might be, I'm going to cuss you out. But my instincts will be, let me try to figure out how to bring peace to this. Let me figure it out. And if I can't bring peace to it, then I'm going to take you outside, dust you off, and then buy you a beer later. We'll be friends. <laughs> You know, but but instincts, you know, and I, I use those instincts. Now, I've, I have sat down and read a couple of books, and one of them is um, Respect for Acting, which he directed me to. He directed me to Respect for Acting by Uta Hagen. He directed me to read something by Stanislavski, which was really good, too, but Uta Hagen was the one that did it for me. So he did it. Respect for Acting is the name of it. Really good book. Um, so I read that and I found that I was already doing the stuff that she was talking about. And I was like, oh, wow, this is just confirmation. That's sometimes that's all you need is confirmation that you're doing something right. So even not knowing what I was doing, I was doing something right. So it, 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 it's the, that's just life. Yeah. It's life. Wow. Mm. That's amazing. Look at here. Look at here, sir. Look at here. Okay. <laughs> 
I've been doing this since January. Okay. And so, so many doors have opened up that it's like, okay, which, wait, which one do I go to first? You know what? Whichever one picks me up and takes me through the door, let's go with that. Because you never know how God is going to bless. And when he does, I mean, he does it decent and in order, but he gives you options. And you're like, okay. You're like, okay, which way do you want to go? And, and it's, it's been amazing. Because, like, I mean, meeting you. <laughs> And, and getting a chance to talk to you about like your plays and different things like that is my dream. Dream, dream, dream come true, you know? Well, I'm gonna I'm I'm go ahead and tell you then, I'll be looking for you. I'll be looking for it, I'm gonna be waiting to see it. I'm gonna see your name up there and I'll be like, yep, I remember her, know her well. That's my homie right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be awesome every time. Okay, let me ask you, one 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 question here. If you could say and maybe sum up your career with a sentence, what would you say that is? Because I mean your career is just so all over the place, then it's just I mean, you're singing, do I, I want a song. If I can get a song just for me, oh, I I'm good. Yeah, um, I can do <laughs> <laughs> but if you could think about, like, I mean, you're acting, you're, you're producing now. Um, did you get a chance to, you said you did direct something, oh, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's like. So I'm I, produced a, I produced a play that's coming up, and I produced a, a, a film script that's coming up. Um, so, yeah. I, I've been blessed. Um, let's see. If I could sum it up in a sentence or a phrase. Yes. I always go to the Bible. I always do it. It's my guide. There's a scripture in there that says, I'm going to paraphrase a little bit, but then I'm going to say it. But I'll say it the correct way first, then I'm going to paraphrase it. When the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Now I'm going to paraphrase it. I'm going to break it down to, for a young, young person. The Bible says, trust in God with all of your heart. Lean not to what you think or what you feel or what you want. But in everything you do, how do you acknowledge God when it's bad? <clears throat> well. You acknowledge God by saying, I need your help, God. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do this when it's bad. You acknowledge God when you make the wrong decision, you get in trouble and you say, okay, God, you know what? I messed that up. Let me, if you give me another shot. He said, if you acknowledge God and he'll direct your path, that means he will order your steps. That means that he'll meet, that means your gift, oh, it just, just can't kind of hit. That means that your gift will make room for you and it will bring you so you ain't got to chase nobody. It'll bring you before great men. That's, that's, I'm a witness to that. I didn't have to chase Tyler. I didn't have to chase Oprah. I didn't have to chase Bishop Jakes. I didn't have to chase none of these people. They all, Fred Hammond, they all came to me. They all came to me, reached out to me. I didn't have to chase any of them. So, that is because when whatever I was doing, I was acknowledging God. I understand that you are you are the one. I'm nothing without you. But is this where you want me to be? If this is where you want me to be, then you have to do it. Because I can't do it. I don't. I ain't smart enough. I'm not smart enough. You have to do it. So <laughs> that sums up my whole career. Trusting that, God with my heart. Yes. Wow. I love that scripture. That that. That one's very, very super familiar to me because that was yeah. what we used to say at my church like every Sunday. Yeah. Not to yeah. your own understanding in all that ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. And That's you know good. what? 
I've heard that more frequently lately than ever. So com reconfirmation. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that 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 just means that all that means is he's reminding you. If you keep hearing it, it's coming to your spirit. That's just God reminding you. This is how you want to win. This is this is it. This is how you're going to win. Now it might not. Everybody needs, don't have to go that route. It probably go some other people go a different route. For you, that's what it is because it keeps coming to you. So he's saying, trust me, because I want to give it to you. Because if somebody else gives it to you, you're going to get ripped off. Every time. I want to give it to you. You know why he wants to give it to you? So that nobody else can say they did it for you. He did it. And he wants you to give him acknowledgement for it. That's how. That's how Tyler won. That's how I've been able to win. So many people have won uh, doing that. So. That that that's a special thing. That's good. If that scripture is coming to you like that, that's a good thing. That's a great thing. Wow. So I'm yeah, I'm gonna be looking for you. I already know that's gonna happen then. That's gonna happen. Anything I can do to help, don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir, you were amazing. That's yeah. all I'm saying. That's all I can say. I wanna I wanna whatever it is that you I mean, heck, I'll 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 take the calls out answer the emails, whatever you <laughs> Thank I'll you. handle it. It's not a problem. That's my repertoire, my forte. So you know, I mean I can do that. Okay. Um quick question though. Sure. Um I do want to get I don't want to say this but I want to say it so badly. Okay. Is there any way, and I'll take, I'll take it out if you want me to, hmm. I can get a song? I can tell you how I feel for you and all the things I could do to show you the love I have is true. There are many words that I could say, a melody I'd like to play to show you the love I have is true. But my thoughts will change and my words will pass, but only what I do is gonna last. And this will show you the love I have is true. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just like, okay, don't ask him, don't ask him, don't ask him. No, you better ask him. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> Good. But okay. that was amazing. Your gift is so big, and it just like, wow. Thank you. Okay. If anybody else don't buy the rest of the the rest of your stuff, that's on them. They missing out. Well, we gonna we gonna we gonna try to push and make things happen. We just I just want to encourage people and um really be a blessing to their lives, so that when I leave here, that's what's being said. It was a blessing. That's it. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate the interview it's been wonderful it's been great talking to you yes this has yeah. been awesome okay so this thank you so much for being here thank you so much for uh, allowing um, me to speak to you as well and i'm just going to ask you guys to like share and subscribe to my podcast and my youtube channel to Hey, Facebook, if you want to join me, you can always join me. Um, and if you have any questions, hopefully I'll be still in contact with Brother Tony so that we can get some more information and we can just vibe, just vibe as much as possible. Thank you so much, you guys, for living your best life with Lady Maya. And I thank you so much. Please stay safe. Please like, share, subscribe. Please comment. Please. That would be great. Love you guys. Have a great day.
please stay tuned you guys. His video is coming right now.